if I do my own maintenance on my Goldwing, will it void my warranty? They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motovlogs. Hello YouTube. This is Cruise Man out again on the 2018 Goldwing for a quick ride to the post office. I have to deliver some uh, DVD packages that I'm shipping out today and a couple of other things. So I just thought I'd uh, take a little bit to catch you up on some some exciting things. The first thing I, I just can't help but mention is that the last couple of days we topped 15,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. That's been a big goal of mine for some time and um, it's pretty exciting and the channel just continues to grow. I appreciate all your support. All you guys that watch the motor vlogs and the how-to videos and the installation videos, uh, you know, it just, uh, you guys have been so supportive. I just really, really appreciate it. Now we're just going to set a goal to go to 20,000 subscribers. I don't see why we can't. I think we can do it by the end of the year. So that's our new goal. And uh, got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First of all, uh, last week... I got a shipment in from Partzilla. Now, I haven't ordered a lot of stuff from Partzilla, but some of you guys use them quite a bit. And I ordered a replacement trunk lid for my 2018 Goldwing. And the reason I did that is because after I installed the luggage rack, I figured I'd probably need another trunk lid just in case I need to install some different accessories on the trunk lid. I'll need one to work on. And uh, you know these things aren't cheap. They're like 200 and, I don't know, 280 bucks from Partzilla and that's pretty discounted. That's probably a 30% discount on that. Well, the first one came in, I guess, a two and a half weeks ago and it was broken. It had a tab broken on top. Uh, you know, there's two little tabs on the top of the trunk lid, sort of for a wiring harness and one of those was broken. And I contacted Partzilla, I took pictures of everything and contacted them and said, you know, this thing really wasn't packaged very well. Uh, it's not packed in such a way where it can protect those tabs. And I'm not sure if this is a box that comes directly from Honda or if this is something packaged by Partzilla, I really don't know. Well, anyway, their online system is not really designed for dealing with returns. Uh, you know, I'm used to working with companies like BNH Photo where everything's pretty much on their website automated. And if you need to return something, it's really simple. But Partzilla's website's not that way. So basically, you have to call them. I tried sending an email to the return department, but I waited like four days, never got a response. So I finally called them. I'll wait till the monster truck gets by me here. I can't hear myself think for those tires. So anyway, I finally called and I had to wait on hold for quite a bit. I had like 10 calls in front of me. I finally got through to somebody and they gave me an RMA and they sent me a label. It took about a day to get the label. But they sent me a return UPS label and I shipped it back to them. And they, uh, I wanted them to ship me a replacement. So they did. It took about a week uh, for the new replacement to come in. And, and to their credit, they did ship a replacement without having to have received the original one back. So I got the new replacement. And damned if I didn't open it up. And it, the tab, the exact same tab was broken. Now, I don't think they shipped me back the same one because I'm not sure if mine had even reached them. I don't know if my return had even gotten back to them. I think this is a whole new trunk lid because it had a whole new bag from Honda, packaging, everything. But as soon as I opened the box, I could tell that that tab was broken and just barely hanging on. Exact same place. 
So at this point, I just finally gave up and said, forget it, I'll just come up with another solution. Because I could do this forever. Because they're obviously not going to change the way they package them. And I, I, I'm assuming now they just come from Honda that way. And Honda's just not doing a very good job of packing those trunk lids so that they don't get broken in transit. So I contacted them again. I had to call them on the phone and get another RMA. And this time I wanted a refund. And it's a little confusing because the one they shipped me the replacement order that they shipped me shows a zero value because it's a different order number it's really weird the way their system works and there's no way for me to see online what's going on whether or not they received the one back that I shipped them there's no information on the progress of my refund being processed nothing so I guess I'll have to call them again I did check my tracking number today and I did, they, do, they did get it yesterday. They did get the, the replacement trunk lid back. So we'll see if they issue my refund. And if I don't hear something in a couple of days, then I'm going to have to call them again, I guess. So anyway, that's my Partzilla story. Uh, not very impressed with their online ordering RMA return system. Their ordering system's okay, but if, it, if you have a problem, they really don't have any way online to deal with it, which I was kind of surprised for that big of a company. So if you like these kind of videos and this information and you like my motor vlogs and my how-to videos, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down at the bottom of the screen. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when to come out with a new video. And make sure you share this video with all your friends on your social media and however else you share things. Much appreciated. I had an email the other day that I thought was an interesting question. I've had this a couple of times in the past, and I thought it'd be a good thing to talk about. Somebody was asking me, if I do my own maintenance on my Goldwing, will it void my warranty? This is a pretty common question, that if you work on your own bike, will it void your warranty? And the short answer is no. And here are the reasons why in my opinion. Honda tells you how to do many of these things in the owner's manual. They tell you how to change the oil, they tell you how to remove the tires, they tell you how to change the coolant. They give you that information. If they didn't want you to do that yourself, they wouldn't even mention it. They just put a big page in there that says, go to your Honda dealer. They also sell a service manual that's available to the public. So, there's no warnings anywhere in the manual about working on the bike, voiding your warranty. I've worked on my own motorcycles for 25 years and never, ever had a warranty issue because I did my own maintenance. So the short answer is no, you can work on your own motorcycle and not have any fear of voiding your warranty. Now. If any of you have any other stories pertaining to something like that, please put it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. And I'm sure our other viewers would love to hear it. Now, if you tear your engine down and you can't get it back together, or if you did something seriously to damage your motorcycle, in the, then yes. I mean, for example, let's say you, you're taking off the top shelter to change out the air filter and you crack the top shelter. Well, then your top shelter is not going to be covered under warranty for something like that. If a dealer breaks your top shelter while they're changing your air filter, there's a pretty good chance your warranty would cover that. So, that's just kind of long and short of it. As long as you don't damage something, uh, your, your warranty should be intact. So I told you on my last motor vlog that I had a special announcement. We had a special promotion coming for our Goldwing maintenance video series. And here it is. This is our summer promotion. It's only going to be good for the month of May. Starts tomorrow. Actually starts tonight at midnight. And here's the deal. If you order using the summer promotion 
on the promo code when you place your order you'll get a 20% discount ah but there's more we're also going to send you a Pathfinder LED work light it's about a $20 value now the reason I did this is because I love that Pathfinder LED work light and as you know SoCal Moto Gear has been a long time customer of mine I've done a lot of videos for them in the past and so I contacted them reached out to them about what if I buy a load of these things to give away and they worked with me and I've got a big box of them coming in and anybody that buys our 2018 Goldwing Maintenance Series or the 2001 to 2017 Maintenance Series, the purchase option, the buy option, uh, you will get a Pathfinder LED work light. I have two of these and I absolutely love them. I use this thing all the time while I'm working on the motorcycle. I keep mine right here in the glove box. It's down here somewhere. You can see it right there. I keep it on the bike. I can charge it using the USB port in the glove box. It's just a great tool. And even if you've already purchased one, uh, you can always use a second one. Put it in the car, put it in the kitchen, wherever you do work, put it in your toolbox. Uh, the things are absolutely great. So that's the deal. Summer promotion begins uh, midnight tonight. This is April 30th, so it begins at midnight, May 1st. And um, that's the deal. And uh, for those of you that have uh, purchased the videos in the last 14 days we'll, uh, and you're registered, you do have to register your purchase to get this uh, work light because we have no way of knowing who you are or where you live or where we ship it to. But if you've registered your purchase in the last 14 days, you will get this retroactively. So don't be concerned. We always go back and honor any promotion for the previous 14 days. And that's it. As you can see, I'm stuck in traffic on my way to the post office. This is what it's like in Dallas, Texas at 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, the reason I'm going right now is because we're supposed to have some pretty torrential rains this afternoon and I wanted to beat the rain. So anyway, thanks again for tuning in to this week's Motovlog. More exciting news coming next uh, time on our next Motovlog, we're going to talk about motorcycle insurance. So get your motorcycle insurance stories and questions ready. And that's going to be our topic on the next Cruise Man's Motovlog.